While the nation is in a state of unrest right now, conversations being held are now focusing on whether it's right to loot or riot violently, all under the guise of change. And joining us now to chime in is Dr. Robert James, the Mississippi State Conference President of the NAACP. Dr. James, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Kind of can you hear me? To, yes, like we can hear yes, you. Yes, sir. Talk to us about sir. the mood of the country right now with the protests and also some of the riots that are going on. What, what are you, how are you assessing this right now? Well, the uprising taking place in Minnesota, St. Paul, Kentucky, Los Angeles, and other locations across this country as the results of anger, fear, sadness, distrust that has been manifest for years throughout our community. Enough is enough, we are done dying. This is not an isolated incident. They are directly related to systematic racism that plague our country. Even at even more alarming rate than the coronavirus, our community has been in a state of emergency long before COVID-19 has been brought to light. The rest of Officer Derek Chevron is not enough. There are three other officers who are just as complicit in the killing of Mr. Floyd. We want, we want them all charged for their role of, in this inscrutable death. We're calling for a federal legislation similar to the hate crime bill to develop, which will provide detailed procedures and penalties in the case of brutality of police brutality. The unrest that we're seeing today is what is happening when the road of injustice is too long, drawn out, the uprising as a result of our community feeling as though once again, nothing is going to be done. We have watched the president give the all right protest and Charles Louisiana, lost Charles, Charlottesville, Charlottesville the benefit of God, even when the video showed that they were terrorizing the innocent America. Yet in this moment of anger, sadness, and fear as the continued death of black lives at the hands of police, this president chooses to characterize people who are mourning the loss of Philip Castine, Sandra Blank, Blank, Michael Brown, and George Floyd as thugs. This president action of the suspect and yet not unexpected. He has proven to be incapable of displaying competence, compassionate, necessary in this moment to lead this country through this terrible time, which has been largely aspirated by his by intentionally marginalizing of our community. Our recent national survey reported seventy five percent of the black feel that Trump is the single greatest threat to the African American. That feeling, that feeling is only amplified, amplified in the early hours of the morning when he glorified violence against Americans, stating that when the shooting starts, when the shooting start, when the shooting starts, uh, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Sir, can I ask you this? Do you think about, um, do you think that this can bring about change, or do you feel like the, the violence has masked the message? Some people are saying that. Well, when we learn how to take our anger and display our changes, self does not going to bring a change. People are angry, they're disgusted, they have that energy. On our, we deal with our post brutality, then we'll have it That change needs to happen. All right, Dr. Robert James, uh, president of the NAACP for the Mississippi State Conference, we thank you so much for joining us and for your insight in this. Thank you.